Elon Musk is not your friend. No. He is not doing anything that is what you would consider to be. I mean, again, it's- Oh, we're really going on Elon Musk tonight, huh? All right, we're going in on him. I'm, I'm going in on him because of this, because Jared, could, listen, I think Hunter Biden is very likely a criminal and has done some really nefarious things, perhaps on behalf of his father. But if you think for one second that he is any worse than somebody like Jared Kushner. Oh, no, no, he's not even, Jared Kushner is so far out of that realm in terms of like nefarious behavior. Hunter Biden, oh my Billions God. Billions of dollars. That's what he's, that's what he's able to do is negotiate billions of dollars with these individuals. I mean, you think you've got chauvinism problems here in the United States. Why don't you go over to Qatar and see what it's like there? And this is the people that they want to do business with. I appreciate that, Metalopoly. Good. Rusty, we're on the same team there. Yeah. We're on the good. same team. And so what leads us into our Don't put story. it up until you, oh, okay, never mind. What le- I, thought you were, I thought you were clicking on that. Sorry. So what leads us into our wonderful return this evening of boot liquor. We had been getting, I had gotten a few requests. People were saying they missed our boot liquor. And so we used to do it every week. Okay. So what we have now is we have ourselves a new boot liquor. So we're going to start being a lot more cognizant and bringing back our boot liquor periodically. And we are picking the perfect opportunity to do a boot liquor that I have been wanting to do for quite some time. And I couldn't have picked a better time to do this. Mind you, I didn't even know who this person was until yesterday. Oh, these are two of the biggest trolls you can imagine. One of the twin brothers. Those of you who know, our boot liquor of the week is... Brian Krasenstein. I am sure you guys remember. It's these Krasenstein. Krasen- He's got oh, ass in there. Oh, Kras- Krasenstein. Okay, yeah, crass. He's pretty crass. But that would be the C, but he's got ass in his name. Okay, well, he's acting like an ass. And why was he acting like an ass? Well, Mr. Musk decided to put out a Twitter poll the other day deciding whether or not he should stay on or step down as CEO of Twitter. He's still the owner and still probably making all the decisions, but is he going to be the CEO? And the poll ended and it was 57 step down, 43 stay. So Mr. Krasenstein. Krasenstein. Krasen, Krasenstein. That's how I'm saying it. He's crass. Mr. Bootlickingstein <laughs> decided <laughs> to say, because keep in mind, Krasenstein's account was suspended, but for some reason, Elon Musk decided to bring it back. Whatever that reasoning was, I don't know. But it probably involves some bootlicking. So Krasenstein says, I vote no. And is it Krasenstein or Krasenstein? I don't know. You, you would know better than no, I. No, but it could be either. I know yeah. Weinstein and Weinstein. I know both. So Krasenstein, we'll just, we'll take, we'll go okay. back and forth. Okay, you know? Krasenstein. Rothenstein, Rothenstein, <laughs> Daniel Rothenstein. I vote no because you show that you want to improve. Own your mistakes, move forward, improve. Prove with exclamation point. Uh, Could you attach your sycophantic mouth anymore to his ass? Like, I don't think so. But anyway, can we all just comment on the graphic, please? It was well put together by me, I must say. It's been a while. Well, that Look is- Look at that Meat Musk picture. I mean, talk about Italian boots. I mean, those are fantastic. I mean- And who is the gentleman know. in the back? The gentleman in the back is his twin brother. Is it Ed Krasenstein? Yeah, Krasenstein. Krasenstein. They're very crass. It almost makes too much <laughs> sense. So why do we bring this up? Not just because it is the boot licking of boot licking, but- why do we use them? Because they are bootlickers. They are bootlickers of corporate power. These are two of the biggest grifters, anti-Trumpers that were, um, oh, let's just go to their Twitter profile and tell you exactly what they are and who and what they who they are and what they do. Because this is very, very important stuff. And without question, you know, the crass and it isn't is- about whether or not he made a good point. A lot of people might have made that same point, but for different reasons. This is a sycophant. So Mr. Krasenstein is fighting for the truth, pushing for unity, follow my brother, Ed Krasenstein, decentralized social profile. And then, of course, he has 
592,500 followers. What they don't tell you generally is that they follow 529,100 people. Now, why would you do something like that? Mm, could it be that you're a troll account and that your goal is to try to be as relevant as possible for corporate establishment interests? Because that's what they do. And the brother Ed says, living in reality, fact-checking alternative facts. Follow my twin, Web3 Futurist. And where do they live? <sighs> they live in Florida, because of course they do. They live across the way in Fort Myers, about two hours and change from where we are. Shocking, but not shocking, because that's Florida. Because Florida's- Because Florida. Billy, Billy Corbin likes to say. Just because Florida. Because Florida. These guys- are the embodiment of why people hate politics. They don't stand for anything. Their interest is to figure out how can we possibly grift our way into some type of a comfortable living by doing this. Let's suck up to Elon Musk, who's as anti-worker as it gets, no different than Jeff Bezos or Bill, Bill I always called him Billy Gates. That's it. That's, that's what he calls himself on the weekends when he's hanging out with his chums. Yeah, that's what he does. <laughs> But Elon Musk is not for working people. He's as anti-worker as it gets. Just look at his practices running Tesla. And so here you have these guys who liberals think are like their darlings, that they're fighting against, they're fighting the resistance against Trump. But in reality, they're just here to make a buck. That's what they're doing. Now, how well are they being paid? I don't know. I don't really care. All I do know is that they're back and they're going to do back. what they have done before. They are guys who set up an office where you had a whole bunch of cell phones where as soon as a tweet would go off, they would hit retweet, retweet, retweet. Re Again, it's a trolling farm. It's no different than, oh man, Sally Albright, if you guys remember that name. They're really no different. Thanks for watching. If you want to support our mission to transform politics into service, please like this video, subscribe, follow us on social media, and consider joining our Patreon, where you'll get early access to our interviews as well as other exclusive content. Links are in the description. Peace out.